In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to create a UI button from scratch in Photoshop. First of all, select the Rounded Rectangle tool with a radius of 5px and draw a box of 150px width and 50px height. Change this layer's name to Base Shape and double-click on it to open the Blending Options panel. Now move over to the Gradient Overlay tab Keep the blending mode to normal, opacity to 100%, style to linear, angle to 90 degrees, and scale to 100%. Once done, click on the gradient option. Choose 2877AC for the color and keep the slider at 0%. Once done, add another slider. Choose 87BF6 for the color and move the slider to 95%. Double-click on the last slider, choose C2DEF1 for the color, and keep the slider to 100%. Click on the OK button to save these settings, and move over to the Stroke tab. Set its size to 1px, position to Inside, Blend Mode to Normal, and Opacity to 100%. Next, select 2877AC for the color and click on the OK button to apply it. Select the Text tool, choose Veranda for the font, set the size to 30 points, anti-aliasing method to sharp, color to white, and enter your text. Adjust the size, place your text according to the button, and double-click on the layer's name to open up its blending options. Now, move over to the Drop Shadow tab, change the Blend Mode to Multiply, choose 2877AC for the color, Opacity to 100%, and set the Angle to 120 degrees. Once done, set the Distance to 1px, Spread to 0px, Size to 2px, and click on the OK button to apply it. Select the Custom Shape tool, choose the arrow shape, and draw it on the canvas. Place it next to the text over the button and keep it the same size as the lowercase text used. Change this layer's name to Arrow. Right-click on the text layer, select the Copy Layer Style option, and paste it on the Arrow layer. Now select all layers except the background layer and press Ctrl G on the keyboard to group all the layers and change its name to Normal. Once done, duplicate the group and name it Hover. Now move on to the Gradient Overlay option of the Base Shape layer. Choose 87BFE6 for the color and keep the slider at 0%. Next, add a slider, choose 2877AC for the color, and move the slider at 95%. For the last slider, choose 4C9FD7 for the color. Now click on the OK button to save these settings and exit. Click on the Rectangular Marquee tool, select the images, go to the Image menu and click on the Crop option. After cropping it, go to the File menu and select the Save for Web and Devices option. Choose the PNG-24 option and click on the Save button to save this image and you're done. 